Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be doing a manicure because it's time for Halloween and my matcha witch fingers. And they are fabulous and so creepy looking and so delicious. Let's get started, I love them. We have to paint some nails first, okay? Um, and I'm not big into manicures, but these I love to do. So you want your whole blanched almonds. Don't get the sliced little itty bitty nothings. Get the whole almond and make sure they have no skin. Scatter them on a sheet pan and I just put some wax paper on here. I have some gel food coloring, any color you want. This is like a bright red and then this is like a violet. It almost looks like it's black. Get a tiny little food grade brush, all right, and you need the gel. And if you don't wear a glove, you will be getting it all over your hands. So if you want to see what I'm doing, come on over and reach over. And you just want to paint these nails, all right? Just paint some nails, yeah, all right? And you're going to leave them to dry a little bit. So they will look, and, and don't worry if they're not perfect because they're for witches, right? And witches are not perfect. Witches are always on their brooms, you know, they're stirring their cauldron. And you know, they don't always have perfect manicures. So don't worry about it. All right, so we're just gonna leave these on here. I'm only gonna do a few for you because you get the gist and you're just gonna let them dry. They will not dry to a finish where they're hard, trust me. So I have done some over here. I'm gonna swap these out. So I've done some violet ones and I did some red ones and they've been here and drying, all right? I'm gonna leave those there. Now, if they don't dry totally, don't get upset. They will dry in the oven while they're baking, okay? Let's get to our dough, yum, yum, yum. All right, so these are matcha flavored, as I said, and I am in the color of matcha and Halloween today. So we are making a shortbread. So come on over into the bowl. I'm going to be putting in one and a half sticks of butter, and that's softened butter. You really want it nice and soft, all right? And I have a quarter cup of confectioner sugar and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Get it in there. Paddle attachment. Normally we talk about the creaming method of mixing, but today we're not creaming. We are making a shortbread. Shortbread, you don't want any leavening. So if you notice, we're not gonna put any baking powder or baking soda in here. We're not blending this until it's soft or light and fluffy. I always say light and fluffy, light and fluffy when we cream. Not today, folks. Today we're just doing this to blend, all right? So we're just gonna blend this up. Once we have it blended, and don't worry about if everything's not mixed in the bottom, it will. I'm going to add one egg yolk and I'm going to combine it with about a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Only the best for our witch fingers. And I'm going to put this on low speed and get that in there. Again, the less mixing, the less leavening, even if there's no chemical leaveners in there because sometimes if you aerate the butter, you'll get a little puff. All right, now in the meantime, I'm gonna stop this. This looks nice and beautiful. I'm gonna take one and a half tablespoons of matcha tea powder. That's that green powder that matches my blouse. And it's got sort of a grassy, earthy flavor to it. And I blended it with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm just gonna whisk that in gently. I wanted you to see it because if I had done this before, you would have said, what's wrong with the flour? It looks weird because it does look weird. It has sort of that little bit of weird color that we love in witch fingers and witch's complexions. So we're gonna put this on low speed and we're gonna add our matcha flour. And that is our dough. This is the entire dough. It's super easy, super fast. It does have to chill a little bit because it's a little soft in the beginning. So we're just gonna put it in the fridge, wrapped up in some plastic wrap for about 30 minutes. Now, if you're in a rush and you must have 
have your witch fingers faster, you can put it into the freezer for about 15 minutes. All right. All right. That's it. That's it. We have our wonderful, creepy looking, beautiful looking witch flesh, which has to be green. It has to be green. Green is the color of the day. So, you know what? I'm going in with my hands. Just going in with my hands. See, it matches my blouse. Looks nice, right? Nice and witchy. I don't know if I sound like a witch. My kids always said I did. <laughs> right when I was yelling at them when they were little. All right, so gather everything together. You know, I always say that in an electric mixer, you got to get on the bottom. Just flip it around and get to the bottom. All right. And if it doesn't all join together because that flower, you want that all in there, just say, do it with your hands. Your hands are your best tools anyway. And just gather that beautiful greenness because that's what it is. That glorious greenness in here. And gather it so it's a nice soft, it almost feels silky from that matcha. All right, and there's a little bit of cornstarch in confectioner sugar to prevent clumping. Did you know that, huh? Bet you didn't know that. So you're gonna take this and go plop, all right? Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. We're gonna wrap it and chill it. Again, 30 minutes in the fridge, 15 minutes in the freezer, just to get it so it's not so soft. And of course, you gotta wash your hands because you don't want green refrigerator door. That would be icky, right? So get that cleaned up. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm going to just fold from the, my left, sort of push down gently, fold from the right, and just tuck this beautiful witch skin and make sort of a disc, just like that, okay? We're going right in the fridge. Now, I have one, so I'm gonna grab half. I've divided it into half, because we're gonna be making these by half fulls. All right, so let me get my cutting board. So we'll take all this out of the way. We have our, our manicure was done. And you want to get your oven preheated to 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a sheet pan or two with parchment paper. Get your painted nails ready. All right. And remember that egg yolk we used in the dough? Save the white because that white is going to serve as our cement with a little pastry brush. So I have my beautiful matcha dough. And it's firm, you want it to be firm. And you're gonna divide each half, so you're gonna divide that dough in half that I just put in the fridge, and you're gonna divide it in half, and each half should make about 13 fingers. Now, fingers, they come in different sizes. So I usually cut this in half and then make maybe six. So I'll do half, and whatever's bigger, I'll make an extra one. So these, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then divide that. So take one clump of your dough, and you're going to sort of make a snake. All right. Now you got to look at your own finger. Look at your own finger. You notice there's lines on it and there's indentations on it. So you wanna roll it like a snake, maybe three or four inches, and let the kids do this because fingers come in all different shapes and sizes. Sometimes I like to make thumbs, and sometimes I like to make pinkies. So it varies. And so, you know, witches may have arthritis and be all gnarled up and everything. So you see this? So this is about three or four inches long. And then I'm just gonna make a nail shape. So I'm just gonna, almost like a, if it's like a rocket, like a tip, and then I'm gonna put my nail in there. 
to make a space for our nail, right? And then I'm gonna put some pressure on here and a little indentation, and I'm gonna bring my knife over And I'm just going to give the knuckle a little, little contouring, all right? And it, again, it doesn't have to look perfect. And then you just take one of your, one of your nails and you just egg wash it in. Push. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And it really does look like a witch's finger. And you're going to put it on your, on there. All right. So I had somebody come to the house, repair something, and he saw oh, um, a sheet pan of these. And he was like, lady, what you doing? And I'm like, none of your business. He thought I was sort of creepy. But again, you know, Witch's fingers come in all different shapes and sizes. This is a teeny little one, right? So maybe this will be a pinky. So look at your pinky. And you can see that you have that one big knuckle right there. So we're gonna keep it small, keep it small. Some of them may be chubby. Some of them may be a little bit wider. All right, so you get the gist, right? They're fun, they're fun to do. And they look so real. They don't look totally real until you get that nail on. All right, and you can gnarl them any way you want. You know, make them all gnarly and sort of creepy. Let's take let's take a purple one now. This really is purple. Put it in there. Oh yes, oh yes. All right, and I didn't put a little egg wash. I gotta put some egg wash in that one. Excuse me, madam. I'm removing your nail for ooh for one second just to give it a little. A little bit of some. Try to do the egg wash really quick because you'll bleed your food coloring in there. So once you get these all done, and they should all fit on one sheet pan, so you may end up with two sheet pans worth, uh, bake them off for about 12 minutes and the bottom should get barely brown and then they're done and they are creepy and gorgeous. Let me just wash my food coloring off. Wear a glove when you do these almonds because the motto in my house is food coloring is forever. It really takes a long time to wash out. Let me show you what they look like. They are amazing. So you would just continue with this. And I like to serve my fingers on a platter. And you know what? This is the only time I would recommend biting your fingernails. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you make this for Halloween and you get your kids involved and your grandkids involved and all friends involved. They're amazing and they're beautiful and they're very tasty. Until next time, I hope you become a subscriber.